Hello, this is David again, and this is a continuation of our document here on installing Axtrax NG software. This time we're going to be talking about adding users or credentials. And the first step will be adding multiple users, 25, 50, 100 at a time. We will select our users group, go up to our insert users and cards, and what you will see here is that we can add uh, our quantities up to a thousand. We can look at the card itself and on the bottom right hand side of the card you'll see a three digit number which is your facility code, a comma, and then a five digit number which is your card number or start from. In my particular case I have a group of 25 cards and my first card number is 55859. My facility code is 26. Now if I had created departments before I could select what department I want all of these to go into or if I had created my access group I could select that. We haven't done those yet. We'll do those at a later time but you could create those first and go ahead and install them. Any of our cards, the Ross Lair cards, will be Wigan 26-bit. We click on OK. Our cards are installed in the card section and also in the general section. The card section, you, there's nothing you can do to the card. You can only make changes under the general format. If we take a card, user number one, double click on it you'll see that this is where we could put our first name, our last name. We can tell it what department we want it to go into, which we haven't chose yet. We could put it in car park group. We could put it in access group, which we'll talk about later. And we could put it into a card plus card group. The valid date, if this is checked, the valid date would be used for subcontractors. I have a subcontractor coming in, it's going to work for two days. I would check my valid date and I would start it at 0800 and I would end it at 1700 on Friday tomorrow. And with this checked, the badge card pin number would be good until this time. At that time frame the card would be turned to inactive and that badge would not be able to be used uh, from that time until there was some manual intervention done. You can do the same thing with the counter. If you want to enable counter and you want to give this person um, two swipes, three swipes, whatever it may be, you can do it there. Access granted commands, we'll talk about those. Those will be used in AC links that uh, we want something specific to happen if this badge is swiped um, and we can use access denied also. Uh, we can classify this person as a handicap and we can also put this person in an output group which most often is used for a elevator control. You can add a photo to anybody so that when they swipe their badge um, we can turn it on under the panels themselves and we can turn it on and have a pop-up screen each time someone comes in. Uh, and a passback immunity. If you do build and a passback into your software, then you could set it up where this user has immunity to it. It does not affect them. We do have extended door time. A person is elderly and needs the door open time to be open longer. I can extend that. I can have this person assigned to their badge activate or deactivate our HLX system and then I can also create this person to auto open one or all doors for a security type issue. 
codes as we talked about before uh, we this is the first user this was my first card number um, if I wanted to add some give this person a pin number I could add the pin number here and tell it OK if I don't know what pin numbers I want to use I can do an auto pin and then I can also do multiples if I want to give this person a duress pin code which would sound some type of an alarm or send some type of internal external alarm I could put that pin code in here we would have to build an AC link with that in order to make that work a second way to put in a badge is that we could simply put in the facility code and we could put in the card number tell it OK and that card will be added to both the card section and to the general section we now have our user built Thank you.